Hello, this is John from WHMCS. In this video, I'm going to showcase some of the great new features we've got coming in version 7.0. The headline feature of this release is the Auto Updater, which lets you upgrade in just one click with zero hassle. We are very excited to be bringing this top requested feature, so let's jump straight in. The updater can be accessed under Utilities Update WHMCS. The system will automatically detect and notify you when a new update is available based upon your current update channel settings. We expect most users to select the stable channel for their live production installs, but you might want to select current version if you only wish to receive security and maintenance updates for the current version. In this example, we're using an early beta version. A temporary writable file path is required to allow working space for the updater, and you can also specify a message to display to visitors whilst the upgrade is in progress. With that simple configuration completed, we click Update Now. The first of two pre-flight checks makes sure you are ready, prompts you to download a database backup and ensure that enough disk space is available. Second, if any files have been customised which will be overwritten by the updater, they are listed here so you can back them up. Now we're ready to go, so hit begin update. The updater is now downloading the appropriate files from our mirrors, verifying the file hash and digital signatures. Next it extracts the files, performs the database schema updates and then any other updates to the data as necessary. Finally, it cleans up the working files in the temporary directory. At present, in this beta stage, we have an hourglass animation, but we intend to replace this with a live output of the upgrade process in future. All the upgrade tasks are logged to the WHMCS database to facilitate troubleshooting in the event of any problems with an upgrade. And that's it. In real time, this installation has now been upgraded. Another piece of common feedback we receive, particularly from new users, is that there are so many options upon first login to WHMCS that it's hard to know where to get started. Therefore, we have replaced the previous admin homepage release notification pop-up with a new Getting Started Wizard. This appears on first login to full administrator users and will allow you to get selling with WHMCS in minutes. The first step asks for your company details and a logo to be used on invoices, emails and PDFs. Next we configure payment methods. We've chosen some of the most popular options, PayPal, mail-in payment and credit card. By opting to enable the Evo Payment credit card gateway here, you will be able to start the application process from within the wizard. We don't want to apply right now, so any step can be skipped. The third step configures domain names, which allow you to specify some of the most popular TLDs to set up and start selling with one annual price. This can of course be finessed later. You can also apply for a free Enom account to automatically register these domains directly from within the wizard. The final step is to configure your web hosting server. By entering the hostname or IP of a cPanel server along with your reseller username and password, the Verify Connection button will automatically pull the rest of the information from the cPanel API and populate the fields. That's the wizard complete. All that remains is to configure your products and WHMCS is ready to sell. This wizard can be run at any time and is accessed via Help Setup Wizard. Speaking of products, we've also made configuring products easier. For cPanel, Plesk and Direct Admin modules, there is no longer a raft of fields to fill in on the Module Settings tab. Gone is the problem of accidentally mistyping the package name as the available values are queried directly from the server for you to easily select. Should additional configuration be required, the Advanced Mode link reveals all the additional fields. Last, but by no means least, I'll showcase the improvements we've made to the domain name order flow. 
First we have added sales groups, which allows you to label domains as hot, new or sale on the domain order pages, drawing extra attention to specific TLDs. Another new section is the Spotlight TLDs. TLDs added here will be displayed at the top of the domain results page for every domain check so you can really push these TLDs to customers. Spotlighted and sales groups can be combined to give extra impact. So let's see that in action. From the home page we can search with a domain name or just some words. Using the enom name spiller functionality, WHMCS generates potential suggestions based on the words autos and Houston. The results are returned in three sections to speed up the loading of the results page. First we have the results of the domain we checked. Next we have the availability of the spotlight domains. And finally, other suggestions. The sales group labels are displayed in the corner of the Spotlight TLDs and also in the Suggested Domains section. We are very excited to be bringing these usability improvements to version 7. Please continue making suggestions and voting on our feature request site. And let us know your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching.